energy or power signal. An energy signal is normalized energy, is non-zero and finite. So the condition for energy signal is that an energy signal lies between zero and infinity where the power is equal to zero. So this is the condition for energy signal. Now comes the power signal. A signal is said to be a power signal if its normalized power is non-zero and finite. So the power signal lies between zero power infinity where energy is equal to infinity. So these are the two conditions for energy and power signal. To check whether the following signals are energy signal or power signal, the conditions for CT, continuous time signal are under CT for energy, it is E is equal to integral of minus infinity to infinity x of t whole square dt. So this is the condition to check for energy signal under continuous time signal. For power, it is P is equal to limit t tends to infinity 1 by 2t t t minus t x of t the whole square dt. So these are the two conditions for continuous time signal. Whereas for discrete time signal to find the energy it is summation n is equal to minus infinity to plus infinity x of n whole square. This is for discrete time and power is equal to limit n tends to infinity 1 by 2n plus 1 into n small n is equal to minus n to n x of n whole square. Now to find the RMS value root mean square value of a signal root p is found. So these are the conditions to check whether the following signals are energy signal or power signal for both continuous time signal and discrete time signal. Determine whether the signal are energy or power signal. The signal given here is x of t is equal to e power minus 2t u of t. So to find, it's a continuous signal to find whether it is energy or power signal. First write the formula for energy signal. That is nothing but e is equal to minus infinity to infinity x of t the whole square dt. Now substitute x of t by e power minus 2t u of t. So now it becomes minus infinity to infinity e power minus 2t u of t whole square dt. We have substituted the value of x of t. So e power minus 2t. Now when you have u of t, remember u of t is equal to 1 when t greater than or equal to 0 and 0 otherwise. So this is the function of unit step impulse, unit step signal. Now let's continue. When u of t is there, we are giving minus infinity to infinity. In order to remove u of t, this will, the limits will change from 0 to infinity, e power minus 2t to dt. This is the difference between the two. When u of t is there, so the limit stands from minus infinity goes on till infinity. When u of t is removed, it starts from 0 to infinity. Now multiply the two. 0 to infinity e power minus 
फोर टी डी टी दैट इज नथिंग बट जीरो टू इंफिनिटी ई पावर माइनस फोर टी डी टी प्लीज इंटरग्रेट वेन यू इंटरग्रेट यू विल गेट ई पावर माइनस फोर टी बाय माइनस फोर एंड द लिमिट्स विल बी जीरो टू इंफिनिटी so when you apply the limits inside it becomes 0 minus 1 by minus 4 that not, that is nothing but 1 by 4 so the energy is 1 by 4 this is the energy that has been obtained next to find the power the formula is p is equal to limit t tends to infinity 1 by 2t Minus t to t x of t the whole square d t. Now please substitute x of t is equal to e power minus two u of t. When you substitute, your p value gets limit t tends to infinity one by two t minus t to t e power minus two t u of t. the whole square dt as discussed earlier when u of t has to be removed your limit starts from 0 and ends with t so let's rewrite limit t is equal to infinity 2 by its 2t 2t 0 to t e power minus 2t whole square dt Now, when your u of t gets removed, the limit changes from zero to t. Next is limit t tends to infinity one by two t, and then multiply the two. It is zero to t e power minus four t dt. Then integrate e power minus four t. When you integrate. Limit t tends to infinity one by two t. You get e power minus four t by minus four, and the limits are zero to t. Apply the limits inside. When you apply the limits, you can uh, take this minus four outside. So limit t tends to infinity one by when this four comes out, it becomes minus eight t. And here you can get it as e power minus four t from zero to t. Now please apply the limits. You will get it as t tends to infinity one minus. You can uh, put this minus on top. Eight t. It is e power minus four t minus e power zero. So this is the value. Obtain and then further simplify this. P is equal to limit t tends to infinity minus one by eight t e power minus four t minus one e power zero is equal to one. That's why we have written as one. Further simplified, you will get it as p is equal to limit t tends to infinity. One by eighty. Now this minus is multiplied inside, so you get one minus e power minus four t. This can be further simplified as e power minus infinity by infinity. That is equal to one by infinity. So here your energy is one by four, whereas your power is zero. These are the energy and power for the given x of t signal determine if x of t is equal to cos t is energy or power signal so this is x of t that has been given and you are asked to find whether it is energy or power signal so the formula for energy Signal is minus infinity to plus infinity x of t whole square d t, and then substitute for x of t from the question cos t. So minus infinity to infinity, it is cos t whole square d t.
that is nothing but cos square t dt. Now we know cos square theta is equal to 1 plus cos 2 theta by 2. So this is the formula from maths cos square theta is equal to 1 plus cos 2 theta by 2. So applying the formula here for cos square theta we will get minus infinity to plus infinity 1 plus cos 2 t by 2 dt. Now integrating 1 plus cos 2t by 2 we will get 1 by 2 or separating 1 by 2 and cos 2t by 2. So it's 1 by 2 minus infinity to plus infinity 1 dt plus again it is in minus infinity plus infinity cos 2t dt. This has been removed commonly. And then again integrating it, we will get, when you integrate 1, it is t for the limit minus infinity to infinity. And cos 2t integration is sin 2t by 2 minus infinity to plus infinity. That will give you 1 by 2. Here it is infinity. This will also, uh, you will get it as infinity. So infinity plus infinity. That is nothing but infinity. So your E is equal to infinity. This is how you have to find the energy. To find the power, the formula used is limit t tends to infinity for 1 by 2t, t minus t to t, x of t, dt. Now instead of this x of t, you will substitute from the question. So power is equal to limit t tends to infinity, 1 by 2t minus t to t cos t the whole square, dt which is again limit t tends to infinity 1 by 2t minus t to t 1 plus cos 2t dt this is from the previous formula where cos uh, 2 cos square t is equal to 1 plus cos 2 theta by 2 so 1 by Two comes out okay here again we are applying 1 by 2 now this 2 comes out it becomes 1 by 40 limit t tends to infinity 1 by 40 minus t to t 1 plus cos 2 t dt I repeat from this we came here by the formula cos square theta is equal to 1 plus cos 2 theta by 2. So we have applied it here. So this becomes 1 plus cos 2 t by 2. This 2 is taken out. So it becomes 1 by 4 t and the rest inside. So now when you integrate this, you will get it as limit t tends to infinity 1 by 4 t. Integrate 1, you will get it as t minus t to plus t plus cos 2t integrated. You will get it as sin 2t by 2 for the limit minus t plus t. Now apply the limits. It is again limit. t tends to infinity 1 by 4t. This is upper limit minus lower limit. So t minus the lower limit plus sin 2t by 2 minus sin 2 minus t by 2. So here we have applied the upper limit and the lower limit. 
followed by p is equal to limit t tends to infinity 1 by 4 t it's 2 t plus sine 2 t plus sine 2 t by 2 we are taking it common so then it is limit t tends to infinity 1 by 4 t 2 t there are two sine t so you can take them club them into two sine 2 t by 2 this 2 and this 2 will get cancelled so further it can be written as limit t tends to infinity 1 by 4 t 2 t plus sine 2 t now this becomes limit t tends to infinity 1 by 4 t you're multiplying this 4t inside. So when you multiply with 2t, it becomes 2t by 4t plus sine 2t by 4t. Here t, t gets cancelled again 2. So now limit t tends to infinity for 1 by 2 plus sine 2t by 4t. Apply t is equal to infinity wherever your t comes please apply infinity then you will get 1 by 2 plus sine 2 into infinity by 4 into infinity that will give you 1 by 2 plus 0 so the power is equal to 1 by 2 so this is the power and energy for the given signal x of t is equal to cos t we already found out the value of E that is that was equal to 0. Hence, the value of P is equal to 1 by 2 and E is equal to 0. It is a power signal. Now, this signal is a power signal.